This video is brought to you by Sailrite. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the SnapRite Twist Lock Die Kit. Seth Grant will demonstrate how the kit installs common sense studs, or sometimes referred to as twist lock studs, with the two screw base. Using any standard riveting tool, we're going to first install the SnapRite button die. To do that, make sure the lever of the tool is depressed and screw it into place all the way so it's flush. Next, install in your drill the 8th inch stay put spin cut tool. We'll then grab a common sense two screw stud and position it on our fabric and mark its location with a pencil through both of the holes. Now use the premium cutting block that is included in the kit and position it on the back side of the fabric application. And use the drill with the spin cutter installed to make holes through the fabric where your pencil marks were made. Notice that you do not need a solid work surface to install these fasteners with buttons. You can hold the cutting block in your hands as you punch, or should I say drill, the holes. Next, we'll install a SnapRite mandrel through the SnapRite twist lock die. Utilizing a SnapRite snap fastener button, we'll install this button into the SnapRite button die. Notice the die holds the snap so it does not fall out if you turn the tool upside down. If the handles on your rivet tool are locked, be sure to unlock them so the handles come apart. We will first install the button into the hole on the right side of the fastener base. To do this, grasp the rivet tool in your right hand directly under the head and push the barrel of the button through the fabric and the stud's base. The snap's barrel must protrude from the stud's base to work properly. Then install the snap right twist lock die with the mandrel in place through the top side so the mandrel goes through the snap's barrel and into the rivet tool below. Hold the top of the die with your thumb while you depress the lever on the rivet tool until the barrel is set appropriately. The mandrel does not necessarily need to break, but is expendable. And look how beautiful it came out. The barrel is rolled over beautifully, and here's the bottom side with the snap right button. Now we just need to install one more side. We'll now be working on the left side hole of the stud fastener, so we will hold the rivet tool in our left hand directly under the tool's head, as seen in the video. Again, be sure the snap's barrel protrudes through the top of the fastener's hole. Then insert the die with the mandrel, hold it with your thumb as you depress the lever of the tool until the snap is set appropriately in the base of the stud. This common sense fastener or twist lock fastener is now installed and it looks great from both the top side and the bottom side. We just installed an eyelet on the other end of the fabric so we could show you how the common sense stud works. Push the head of the stud through the eyelet, twist the head, and the fabric assemblies are now secured together. If your mandrel seems stuck in the riveting tool, it is most commonly a simple issue of the handles not being fully released. If this ever happens to you while using the kit, simply check to be sure that the riveting tool's handles are fully extended open. This kit includes a SnapRite twist lock die, the SnapRite button die, the 5x5 premium cutting block, the 8th inch stay put spin cut tool, and 100 SnapRite mandrels. The SnapRite twist lock die kit is exclusively sold at SailRite. For more free videos like this, check out the Sailrite website or subscribe to the Sailrite YouTube channel. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.